Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Summer 4 4. So, today, guys, we're going to do our match review for Athletic Club versus Barcelona. I'm very sorry for the late match preview, guys. I've just been really busy for today, guys. I had to do some stuff. And so, here we are. We're going to be doing our match preview. So, let's go start with this Athletic Club versus Barcelona game. This is a massive game, guys. Huge, huge game for us on La Liga. And it's a very difficult game because Athletic Club is a team that we should be confident against, but at the same time, we should also be very concerned. Because of the fact that they play at the San Mamés. And the San Mamés is a very, very crazy atmosphere. The atmosphere there is quite insane. And it is a very hostile atmosphere. Like, the fans are crazy over there. And Barca has not really been good in the Bilbao the last particular years. We struggled to win there. And it's been very, very troubling, to say the least. And I look at this Athletic Bilbao team and that they have some good players. Obviously, Muniain is good. Nico Williams, and then Iñaki Williams, obviously. Berenger is good. Garcia de Marcos, and then Iango Martinez, and obviously Ernesto Valverde coaching against his former club. Now, we did see the last time we played against them. We did smash them 4-0. However, that was the camp now. I don't believe Barca will smash Athletic Bilbao. And I think the interesting thing coming into this game is that Lewandowski is back. Lewandowski is back, which is nice to see because we've struggled so much without him in terms of goals. He just brings so much goal scoring ability for us, and it's very, very nice to have him in our service, of course. Then obviously, um obviously the big news the big news is that Rahul's gonna be suspended for this game. Pedri is still not in for this game in Dembele. So hopefully the two players can recover for El Clasico. And obviously Sunset's gonna be suspended for the game. And then obviously Unai Simon is injured. John Marcillo, Yango Lukui, and Herrera is doubtful. So you guys can see recent form for Bilbao has not been particularly great. They tied away to Rayo Volcano. They lost away to Osasuna. They lost at home to Girona. They lost away to Atletico Madrid. And they did beat Valencia away, though. So, their recent form has not been great. Barcelona, on the other hand, we've been pretty good recent form. You know, 1-0 win over Valencia. 1-0 win over Real Madrid. Lost 1-0 to Maria. We uh, lost to Man United 2-1. And we obviously beat Cadiz 2-0. So, you could look at the head-to-head -head record. 7 wins for Atletico Bilbao, about 8 draws and 24 wins for Barcelona. So, it's going to be very interesting to see how this one uh, pans out, guys. Because, obviously, guys, I want to see how Barca can cope without Ronaldo Rajo in particular. So, let's go look into the um, the insights leading up to this game, of course. So, insights. Um, as you guys can see right here, guys. Um, we're going to look into the insights. So, Athletic Club is has 28% win chance. Draws 29%. Barca is 43% win. Athletic have not won in their last six games against Barca and La Liga. Since a 1-0 victory in August 2019, failing to score in their most recent two games against some competition. At home, Athletic have won points in their three of their last four games against Barcelona, having lost each of their previous four at home against in the competition. Barcelona have won points in their last 11 visits to teams from the Basque Country, with their last defeat coming against Athletic in August 2019. Athletic have lost two of the last three La Liga home games, as many defeats in their previous 12 games as San Mamés in the competition. Barcelona lost in the last away game, 1-0 to Almeria, and have... Not lost in two straight away games of top flights since October 2021. Where's Atletico Madrid and Rio Volcano? My prediction for this game, guys. Ah, uh, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. I'm really worried, guys. I really feel like this will be a very tough game. And I'm not really sure if our defense can handle the likes of Iker. Um, I'm not sure if our like a defense can handle Inyaki Williams and Nico Williams. Because these guys are so dangerous for um, cl Athletic Club. Now, luckily for us... Sanchez is suspended, who's actually been the top scorer this season with eight goals. And you can see Athletic Club's recent form has not been great. They're ninth in the league. So, you know, although the league table is pretty close, though, to be fair, they're only like, you know, they're only like, oh, what is it called? Uh, actually, yeah, it's it's pretty tough for them. Like, there's no chance for top four, I would imagine. And they do have a sliver of a chance for maybe uh, top six because they're only four points away. But as far as top four, they're definitely not getting top four this season. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how Ernesto Valverde does against his former club. Ah, uh, it's a difficult one, guys, a difficult one. I believe I'm going to go with a narrow win for Barca. I'm going to go for us to win 2-1 on the road. I think it's going to be a very difficult game. I have a feeling we're going to score two uh, goals in this, uh, the late in the second half, like around the 30th and 40th minute. And I have a feeling Bilbao will score in the 60th minute, and they'll push for a late equalizer, but we're going to put up a defensive masterclass towards the tail end, and I think we're gonna just going to see this game out. But we really need to win this game, guys, because Real Madrid just won earlier today against Espanyol. And if we don't win, ooh, the gap is going to be close. It's going to be six-point gap. So, I mean, yeah, six-point gap. So we definitely need to win this game. 
ahead of, ahead of El Clasico and ahead of El Clasico. And also, to make matters even worse, I believe there are several players on a risk of suspension. I believe Busquets is a risk of suspension. I believe Rafinha is as well. And I have to say, who else is a risk of suspension, I believe? Let's go ahead and actually look at this because I think Busquets is, yeah, he's on risk of suspension, I believe. Um, and I believe Rafinha is as well. And so, yeah, um, I believe those are players. So hopefully Barca players can be remain. Um, they can hopefully, no one gets a yellow card, so no one's going to get booked, uh, suspended for that game. Because like I said before, guys, if Busquets and Rafinha get suspended, we are really, really screwed. So this is 11 that um, football predicts, which is probably going to be the 11. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Comment up with your thoughts, comment section below your prediction, like this video if you did enjoy. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new out here, like this video if you did enjoy. Also consider becoming a member of the channel to get access to members' videos, member streams. And also, um, yeah, share this video with your friends. Check out the links in the description below for any other platforms. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.